Hello and welcome to part one of my playthrough of Atomic Heart. New game. I don't know how far I am in this. I don't know how far I am in this game, but um, I'm starting from the beginning. Right. I'm also getting Dead Island Two on rental. So yes. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't care what anybody says, I enjoyed the first two games of Dead Island. But anyway, on to this. A lot of people are calling this the spiritual successor. Su successor? Of Bioshock. Which I can feel it. But Bioshock this ain't. Yeah, I chose the English voice actors. And they didn't even bother doing Russian accents. This is Soviet Russia. And everybody's speaking in an American accent. So for the longest time I thought, hold on, did a Russia win the Cold War? Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city and the clouds will stand alone until the next generation. So yeah, this place is in the air. So obviously a big um, hint, a big like reference to Columbia from Bioshock Infinite. He says thanks to some automated machine, but when he's got a literal AI on the palm of his hand that gives him genuine advice, it shut the fuck up. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. As I mentioned yesterday when I did God of War, I was meant to be recording this yesterday, but there was a massive update to it. Like, literally like 36 gigabytes. Actually, that's not compared, actually considered big these days, but I consider that a big update. Right, where's the robot with the ice cream? Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just raise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. 
P3 is an absolute dickhead. It's like obviously, yeah, he's meant to be like Jack Ryan with a pair with a stated personality. Buy a copy of the facility Herald, comrade. But his his personality is twat. Robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. That sounds terrifying. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. Yeah. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking, as a professional. There's a free piece on new weapon systems. Something about Conrad Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Mm, the factor of three to five is a reference <laughs> to the nuclear bomb. To split the atom from three to from three, atom three from five. I believe that's what um, Oppenheimer. Yeah. Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina. It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your gloves built-in menu. Lousy trick. There it is. He's just crunching down on an obviously highly frozen ice cream. Find a bin, you dickhead. Oh, yeah, ex me. I I do not like P3. He irks me so much. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And... I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Uh, either China is how it is now when he really hasn't gone, or there's some idyllic thing like they're trying to portray Russia in now. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sessionel's direct order. Yeah, I'm doing P3 versus um, Jack Ryan. Returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. God, you're a cunt. You're such a cunt. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me. Thank you for watching part one. I'll see you part two. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolitical.